The Wimat Endoscopy Suitcase, a novel polypectomy trainer. This short video outlines how to use the simulator and its many capabilities. The Wimat Colonoscopy Suitcase is an ex vivo animal simulator. This has been designed at the Welsh Institute for Minimal Access Therapy. It enables the trainee to practice performing a colonic polypectomy in a safe and controlled environment without risk to the patient. The simulator has the ability to recreate the excision of four different polyps. These are non-bleeding and bleeding pedunculated polyps and non-bleeding and bleeding sessile polyps. Firstly we shall look at how the simulator is constructed. The simulator casing is a portable polymer suitcase with a hole made in one end to simulate the anus. This hole is cannulated with a 15mm laparoscopic port and secured internally with a plastic ring clip. Inside the suitcase, porcine bowel is used to simulate human colon. These specimens are cleaned and completely averted to expose the mucosa, as demonstrated by picture A. A polyp mix, which solidifies at room temperature, is injected into the mucosa to produce a sessile polyp. Pedunculated polyps are created using the same mix and attached to the bowel in a standardised fashion. The bowel is then inverted to restore the normal anatomical position as demonstrated by picture B. A bleeding polyp, C in the picture, differs from a non-bleeding polyp, D in the picture, as it has a porcine neuroter attached to its stalk which can be cannulated and injected with simulated blood if bleeding is required, E in the picture. Once the porcine specimen is made, it is inserted into the plastic casing. It is passed through the inside of foam segmenters and a curved exhaust pipe and then through a second set of segmenters. The anal end of the specimen is then attached to the laparoscopic port and the oral end is secured airtight. When the bowel is inflated, the foam segmenters indent on the serosal aspect of the bowel to represent haustral folds. Inside the suitcase, we place a removable metal mesh. This accommodates a crocodile clip which is connected to a diathermy unit. Once the simulator is set up, standard colonoscopy equipment can be used to complete the simulated polypectomy. Pedunculated polypectomy. Once the simulated pedunculated polyp is identified, it can be positioned in a standard manner and a disposable snare inserted and opened. The snare can then be placed around the polyp base and closed, thus securing it in position. Once the user is happy with their position, diathermy can be used in order to separate the polyp from the bowel wall. Where necessary, simulated bleeding can be created for the user to practice different forms of hemostasis. In this case, the participant uses an endoscopic clip to stop the bleeding. The clip is positioned over the bleeding point and released. Sessile polypectomy. This next clip demonstrates the simulated sessile polypectomy. Again, the polyp is located and positioned. The mucosa is raised with a saline injection. The snare is inserted, opened and positioned correctly, and then closed down to enclose the polyp. Diathermy is applied and the polyp is removed. In summary, this polypectomy trainer is a novel approach to simulation training. Its benefits are that it is portable, simple to set up and use, cost effective and it can be tailored to the experience level of the user. It is therefore a viable alternative to virtual reality, live and cadaveric simulation training.